all of this. Okay. Hello everyone, this is Louis J. A. Baron. And what we're gonna going to do today is I'm going to discuss about a new topic about discrete distribution. And it's a topic about the discrete uniform distribution. And also I'm I'm gonna going also to discuss about a theorem one of that said discrete uniform distribution. And so excited and have fun in this tutorial. Bye bye. <sighs>
the f of x with the parameter um, n is equal to 1 over n for every x equal to 1, 2, up to n, or 0 otherwise. And it and is equal to 1 over n indicator of x from 1 to up to n. Now, for every n ranges over the positive numbers, then it is defined to have a discrete uh, it defined to have a discrete uniform distribution. Now, an, our variable x having a density, as here in the equation, is called a discrete uniform random variable. To really understand this one, um, I have an example here. To really understand, I have an example here. Yes. Tossing a die. So let's define our, our random variable, which is uh, the the role uh, the role of a fair six sided die. Now, what we're gonna do here is we will um, make a um, let's graph this one. This part will be our uh, probability, and this will be the x. Now, let's put, um, put here um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, here it will be the, the numbers of dots in a, in a 6 sided die. So, here, what we're going to do is what is the probability of getting 1? Of course, 1 over 6, right? So, 1 over 6. And if we're going to plot this one here. What is the probability of getting the 2? Uh, uh, that 2? Then still, it is 1 over 6. What is the probability of getting 3? Still, 1 over 6, so on up to the, probabil the probability of getting 6. So here, if you have a probability distribution where every outcome is equally likely, like this one, then you are dealing with a uniform distribution. It can be continuous or a discrete but in this case this is a discrete uniform distribution so here this is a discrete uniform distribution so if the question is when would be when discrete uniform happen then the answer would be if all of the outcomes are equally likely. So very easy. So let's now proceed to the theorem 1. Theorem 1 states that if x has a discrete uniform distribution, then the expected value of x or the mean of x is n plus 1 over 2 then the variance of x is equal to n squared minus 1 over 12 and the moment generating function or the expected value of e to the tx is equal to the summations of e to the jt where j starts from 1 up to n times 1 over n <coughs> here we will be going to to prove that the mean or the expected value of x is equal to n plus 1 over 2. <clears throat> so we're going to prove this one. So the expected value of x is equal to the summation of um, j, where j starts from 1 up to n times 1 over n. So if we're going to recall in our statistics, in its previous uh, previous subject, this one is equal to over 
over 2 times this one 1 over n now so it is really clearly seen that we're going to cancel this one <coughs> So now we already proved that the, the, the expected value of x or the mean of x is equal to n plus 1 over 2. N of <coughs> We're going to prove that the var a variance, We're going to prove the variance that the variance of x, x is equal to n squared minus 1 over 12. Okay, prove. Prove. Okay, in our previous topic, we already know that the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x or the mean quantity squared. Now, this one is equal to the summation of um, g squared times 1 over n. So j starts from 1 to n minus our mean is n plus 1 over 2 quantity squared. Now in our statistics a subject, this one is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6 times 1 over n minus we're going to simplify this one this is n squared plus 2n plus 1 over 4 now simply cancel this one <coughs> this will be now n plus 1 2n plus 1 over 6 minus n squared plus 2 n plus 1 over 4. Just copy this one. Now, we're going to <coughs> factor this out or simplify. This is 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. 2n squared plus 2n plus n n plus 1. All over 6 minus squared plus n plus 1 over 4 okay so this one is, is, is uh, 2n squared um, add this one the both uh, with the same variable 3n plus 1 over 6 minus n squared plus 2n plus 1 over 4 so we're going to put this another sheet so let's copy first this should be 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 over 6 minus n squared plus 2n plus 1 over 4. Now let's subtract this one. The, their, so let, their LCD is 12. <coughs> Just divide multiply. This is 2 times um, 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 minus this is divide and this is 3 Oops, uh, n squared plus 2n plus 1 over 12 okay multiply this would be 4n squared plus 6n plus 2 minus 3n squared plus 6n plus 3 no what I mean so since this is negative this is positive positive here so I'm going to times it and make it to become negative so here this is supposed to be negative supposed to be negative <coughs> all over 12 
Okay. We're now halfway in the process. Or halfway of the, in the process. So now, um, okay. What we're gonna do here is it's clearly seen that this one and this one is really can do up. And here, 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 here. And the answer would be so it'll be n squared here. This will cancel out, then this will become 1, negative 1. So next one over 12. So our variance, variance of x is equal to this one. End of proving. Let's now proceed to our moment generating function or the NGF. Then we're going to, going to prove this one that the NGF or the moment generating function is equal to the summations of e to the tx. Wait, um, no, this is uh, j, tj, where j starts from 1 up to n times 1 over n. And we're going to prove this one. This is just so easy to prove. So our NGF in our previous topic is equal to the summation of e to the dx where x starts from 1 up to n and f of f and times f of x since our f of x is equal to Note, not that our f of x is equal to 1 over n. So get just that what is 1. Summations of x is 1, n, where tx and our f of x is, is 1, so 1 over n. So here, right here, so n approving, so our um and moment rating function is equal to this one and for me so let's have an example as what we just a uh, while ago um at uh pausing Tossing a die. Tossing a die. This is tossing a die. Well, let's define a random variable. Is the roll of a pair six sided die. So let's make a table. This will be our x and uh, our probability of each x. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So what is the probability of getting 1? This is 1 over 6, 2, 1 over 6, 3, 1 over 6, 4, 1 over 6, 5, 1 over 6, and 6, 1 over 6. Okay. So let's now find the mean, the variance of the moment generating function of this problem. So um, the mean, the expected value of x is, uh, we can use the, the equation, which is uh, n plus 1 over 2. So here, our n, since tossing a die, the 6 are the die, has n 6 numbers of dots. So that will be our n. So 6 plus 1 over 2, this is 7 over 2. In our variance, variance of x is equal to n squared minus 1 over 12. 
So since our our n is six, so six squared minus one over twelve is six. Thirty-six minus one over twelve. This is thirty-five over twelve. So now if we're going to solve for the moment generating function. Okay. So our moment generating functions dx is equal to the summations of e to the t x where x starts from one up to n is one over n. Now we're going since this one one over n is independent from this from this, so we're going to transpose this one. Or separate this one. The the e to the dx where x from one up to n. Okay. So since our n is six, so one over six, and here our x. So note that our x is from one to one to three up to. Six. So we're going to start to sum this out and source this um, each value from here. So e to the t t plus e to the two t plus e to the three t plus e to the four t plus e to the five t plus e to the 16. 16. Now, so, so this would be, so this would be, this would be our moment generating function. And if we will use this one to, to get the mean, the variant and the variance. So, okay, since we already get the moment generating functions, with which is this one. Now, we can use or we will use this moment generating function to solve for the mean and the variance. And to start, let's have first um, define that the the mean or the expected value of x is equal to the first derivative of the moment generating function and the derivative of this is the derivative of e to the to the t is still e to the t plus 2 e to the 2 t plus 3 e to the 3 t plus 4 um, 4 e to the 4 t plus 5 e to the 5 t plus 6 e to the 6 t hunt t and now j let um, t equal to 0 to find its um, mean so 1 over 6 e to the 0 plus 2 e 2 to the 0 plus 3 e 3 to the 0 plus 4 e 4 to the 0 plus 5 e 5 to the 0 plus 6 e 6 to the 0 and then 1 over 6 this is 1 all of this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 and this is 1 all of these are 1 so you just copy this one the the constant the 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and sum that all this is 21 over 6 or simplify this is 7 over 2 and this is our mean since we already 
get the first derivative of our moment generating function which is the mean so now we will use this one to get the, the variance and remember that the variance is um, the expected value of x squared minus the squared of the mean so in order to get the expected value of x squared is we, is we will just find the second derivative of our moment generating function and to do that one let's find the expected value of x squared which is equal to the second derivative of our the second derivative of our moment generating function and this is so the derivative of e to the t is still e to the t plus 4 e to the 2t plus 9 e to the 3t plus 16 e to the 4t plus 25 e to the 5t plus 36 e to the 6t so this is now our uh, second derivative and let's and the expected value of x squared is the second derivative of the moment generating function where t and where t is equal to zero so we will let t equal to zero to find our um, expected value of x squared so one over six um, e to the zero so just substitute plus four e to the power of two times zero plus nine e to the three times zero plus um, 16 e to the 4 times 0 plus 25 e to the 5 times 0 plus 36 e to the 6 times 0 and again this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 and this is 1 so and still 1 so let's just copy the constant because um, 1 times um, 1 times the constant is still a constant now this is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 so we already get this one and if you will add up all that will result to 91 over 6 and that is our expected value uh, of x squared and we will use this one to get the variance since we already get our um, mean which is 7 over 2 and our expected value of x squared which is 91 over over 6 and now we will use that one to solve for our variance which is our variance variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the mean or the expected value of x quantity squared and just substitute these values then this is 91 over 6 minus 7 over 2 um, squared so 91 over 6 91 over 6 minus 14 over 4 14 over 4 and this will result to 35 over 12 and this is our variance so this the uh, this will be the end of our discussion so now the question would be where to 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 use um discrete uniform distribution so we will um you will use discrete uniform distributions if the probability of each outcome okay remember if the probability of each outcome is equally likely to other outcome to other probability of each outcome then that will be the time that the discrete uniform distribution will be used so that ends of our discussion thank you so much so that ends of our discussion, so if you have any questions, clarifications, doubts, then you can email me at my gmail account, ljbarong at gmail.com. So, once again, goodbye and God bless.